welcome to Camp Galileo Anywhere. I'm Kristen, a Galileo Camp Director, and this is the Galileo Story Corner, where I will be reading books that help reinforce the five innovators' mindsets. The mindsets are something that everyone can have, and it'll help you become an innovator who envisions and creates a better world. Just a reminder that our five mindsets are be visionary, be courageous, be collaborative, be reflective, and be determined. And today, we're gonna focus on be visionary. I'd like to introduce my co-host and the official mascot of Camp Galileo Anywhere, Feathers Bee, the magical rubber chicken. Woo! Hey, Feathers Bee, where are you going, Bear? Oh. Oh, oh, you got a dinosaur? Well, hello, dinosaur. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, oh, oh okay. Fe Feathers Bee says that it's just a toy dinosaur and it can't really talk and that I look silly. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Feathersby, why did you bring a dinosaur toy today? Oh, Feathersby says that she brought this dinosaur toy because it looks just like the dinosaur on the cover of the book that we're going to read today. The book we're reading today is called Chalk, and it's by Bill Thompson. And you're right, that dinosaur does look just like that it does on the cover. But the dinosaur on the cover has something in its mouth. Look at that. It has a bag of magical chalk which is why the book is called Chalk. So Chalk is a really cool book because it actually doesn't even have any words, uh, but it has a really great message about being visionary. And being visionary means that you imagine things that don't yet exist. And you'll see that the kids in the book do a lot of imaginary and they use their visionary ideas to create some really cool things and to solve some problems too. Let's get started. So we have three kids walking in the rain, headed towards the park. And we see a dinosaur with something in its mouth. They take the bag and look inside. Look, there's some chalk. So the first girl takes a yellow piece of chalk and draws a sun. And all of a sudden, a bright sun appears. It goes up into the sky and dries up all the rain. The next girl has an idea and she takes an orange piece of chalk and draws some butterflies. And then the butterflies lift off the ground and start flying through the air. Then the boy takes a piece of chalk and he draws a dinosaur. Definitely a visionary idea, but do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? <gasps> I see a big shadow. It's a dinosaur. And the dinosaur doesn't look like a friendly one. And the kids run and scream. They're climbing up the play structure and hiding. Uh-oh, the dinosaur is coming for them. They're hiding in the tunnel. But luckily, the boy has a piece of chalk and he draws some rain clouds. And you can see the clouds are forming overhead and raindrops are starting to fall on the ground. And the dinosaur starts to melt away because he's made of chalk after all as all their chalk drawings and visionary ideas start to fade away, the kids hang the magic bag of chalk back up on the play structure and walk away. The end. What was your favorite part, Feathersby? Yeah, I liked when the dinosaur melted too. That was really fun to look at. I really liked how the boy came up with a way to solve the problem and he made that idea a reality by drawing it. What I also really liked in that book is that the kids left the bag of magic chalk at the playground. I think that's a really cool message about how visionary ideas are meant to be shared and how anyone can be visionary. You just need the right tools and the right mindset. That book gave me a good idea. I think we have some chalk somewhere draw cool ideas and design things that have never been seen before. And let's do it with chalk. I bet you can go and draw some visionary things, whether it's with chalk or on paper. 
What would you do if the things that you drew came to life? <laughs> That's a fun thing to think about when we're drawing. Let's go, Feathersby. Thanks for joining me in Galileo Story Corner. Hope to see you soon. And until then, stay visionary and keep on innovating. Bye.